Hey guys, my name is Amanda and I'm the creator behind Order and Bliss. If you haven't seen any of my videos yet, I am so excited you are here today because we are inside my daughter's room and you are getting a real life look into a mess. Yep, that's right. It was a big mess. There was clothes on the floor, clothes under the bed, toys everywhere, oh, the drawers. It was a mess, but the best part is that it's not a mess anymore. So you are going to see the before, the during, and now the after. And it is so good. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about toys. I know when our kids are little, they tend to have a lot more toys. And then as they grow, they have different toys, but they still have a pretty good amount. Um, so we did something a little crazy uh, last year, and we basically dumped all our toys into the living room, into a massive pile, and then we had the kids sort them. And we did tell them that until they were sorted, there would not be a Christmas. And the reason was, because we just had so much. And honestly, like, it was embarrassing how many toys we had. I don't know where they come from. Okay, that's not true. I kinda know where they come from. But my point is, is that they just pile up so quickly. And if you're not constantly on top of them, they will literally overrun your home. And that is what was happening to us. Since then, Things have not been as bad. There's definitely been times, but we have kind of taught them what's important to them can stay and what isn't needs to be rehomed. And with that being said, my daughter had a lot of toys in her room still. It wasn't a crazy amount in comparison to what it used to be, but still a good amount of toys. And she did a great job going through them and really deciding like, do I need this? Do I play with this? Is this important to me anymore? I'm so proud of her. So these are expandable dividers from iDesign. And there are two different sizes. So we have the smaller size. And just so you guys know, if you can see here, these are two inches high. Typical kitchen drawers, this would be a good size for them. But when it comes to clothing drawers, not all of them, but most of them are gonna be a little bigger. So this is going to be your four inch divider. So two inch divider, four inch divider. And you can use these however you want. So I am gonna show you guys exactly how I use these. I'm gonna take them out of the box and I'm gonna show you how I use them in her dress. So this is my daughter's PJ drawer. Clearly you can see that I have already folded the items and put them in here. Trust me, they will not stay like this without dividers. So I wanna show you guys. So these are the four inch ones we're gonna use in here. And that's because her drawers are, I believe about six inches in height, somewhere around there anyway. So here's the divider. They all look like this. So when you get them, just a few times, just kind of work them and make sure that, you know, they're working really well. And then check, you know, that they close and open before you use them. But not just to get them kind of moving because they haven't been moving yet. And then what you want to do is you can see there's like a flat bottom. 
And then you're just gonna put it in your drawer. And again, what I was saying is that, you know, to me, I look at a drawer and I think, okay, I need to divide this evenly because it needs to make sense. Well, no, for this particular thing, it needs to make sense for the clothing that you're gonna keep in it. So you can see her PJs are, these are a little smaller, these are a little bigger, these are a little bigger, and then she has like her little extras, which are clearly a little smaller. So just divide the drawers however you need to, to hold the clothing. And then just kind of push on it like this, and then put your fingers in it like this, and then hold the drawer, and then just push this down. And then there you go. There's your divider. There's one of them anyway. And then do the same thing with this one. And just place it in the drawer the same way. Now I don't know if people do this differently, but for me, oops, I guess I forgot to tell you. Sometimes, depending on the drawer, because drawers are not created equally and sometimes they're a little crooked, you just kind of have to like put a little bit more pressure to make sure it's really stuck on and then hold like even longer as you're closing it and then you'll get like a really tight lock. And then for this one, the same thing, but I can, so you can see her drawers kind of have like a different shape too. And I can feel that this divider needs to be a little longer and this one needs to be a little shorter. And that is the greatest thing about these is they adjust to the size that you need in the same space. So just do the same thing, kind of push on it, give it a little like pressure and then hold it again and then just flick it. So then you get like a really good grip. And then you can adjust, adjust the clothes a little and make sure that they're in there nice and tightly. And then one other thing, oh yeah, I forgot. I left the label on this to show you guys because this is actually um, an iDesign deep drawer bin. And the reason why I use it is because see, you can, you can see her space is a little bigger that's left over, which would be fine. But for these small items, it's, it's just not gonna work. Oops, normally these labels come off really well, but I probably pulled that one a little weird, um, but I'll get it off. So I just grabbed this and then these are her like slippers and little socks and hat. And then I just put it in here and it's still divided, but it's just a little, a little tighter. So there you go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is labels. You know, labels are one of those things where it really depends on the space. You don't have to label, but you can. Um, certain spaces do require it. In my opinion, I feel like it's better if it has a label, but then there's other spaces where you might put a label just because, you know, it looks good, which is okay too. And then other times when you don't need a label because it's really obvious what it is, and it is something that's always put back in there. But for my daughter's room, I knew that these bins are always changing. When she was little, we used to have one of them for her big clothes, as in the clothes that she needed to grow into, and then one of them for her small clothes, as in the clothes that she had grown out of. Since then, we've evolved. She doesn't have a whole lot of clothes that are big nor small, so it just depends on basically what we have at the time. So for that, we're gonna put grow. So that way, you know, if it's big, we can put it in there. If it's small, we can put it in there. But either way, we know that this is where it will go. And then the next one is her kind of dress up clothes. And again, over the years, this has evolved. Um, whereas when she was little, she had tons of dress up stuff. And now she just kind of has like a few things that she really loves to wear. So we're gonna call that one sparkle. And then the last one is play. And the reason why I chose play is so that the bin could just be whatever she needed it to be at the time. 
I think when it comes to kids spaces, the more items you can keep off the floor, the better. Now, that doesn't mean throw everything random in a bin and call it a day, no, but you can have one bin that might be a little mismatched. Some play items that might not make sense with the other play items, but either way, she knows where to go if she's looking for items to play. So I know that you guys lean on me for organizational products, tips, tricks, everything that you need in your home, real items that are gonna help you get organized, that work. Because you guys know, I have a regular home, regular fridge, regular drawers in my daughter's room, regular closet. Actually, her closet doesn't even have doors on it, so it's not even a regular closet, it's just like a little hole. No, kidding. But I do want to make one thing clear about the item that I'm using in the top of her closet because I don't want you to think that it's different than it is. So these bins, again, are from iDesign. And I do love them, but I need you to understand that they are not heavy duty and they do not just hold a certain shape. They actually come completely folded up. But here is why I love that about them. So in the past, I've purchased cubes or other items for her closet that are not meant to bend. Well, the thing about items that are not meant to bend, they bend. And then once they're bent, it's over, right? You cannot, you can't get that shape back. And the more stuff you put in it, the more bent it gets. But with this bin, because it came folded and because it's made out of like this kind of mesh wipeable material, it doesn't matter if the shape is changing, it'll change with the bin. And like I said, it came folded and all I had to do was just like stuff some blankets and stuff in there to get the shape to kind of come out. So I'm not worried about her, you know, pulling this down like multiple times out of her closet and ruining the shape of it. If anything, it's actually gonna make a huge difference and it's gonna be really good because I'm not gonna be like, stop ruining your bins, you know? Like, do you know? Are you with me? So these are pretty awesome. And here's the bins that did lose their shape and they were good in here because I just kind of threw them on top. And I want to show you guys, it's kind of hard because it's a big bin, but you can see it has all of her dress up stuff in it. And it's not like too fancy in there. It's just put in pretty nicely. Um, it's by costume. And then I just kind of put these on top and these have like her smaller items in them. So I just wanted you guys to know that because I have noticed on Amazon too that people were surprised by, you know, what they felt like. And that's why you have to read reviews or watch my videos because I will tell you and I'm holding them. You can hear me touching them. And I think this is just really helpful. So that way you know like, okay, is that the kind of bin that I want? And chances are it is because you've done the bins that bend and now you want something that works with your space, can easily wipe, it's not a material like that you can't clean very well and can easily hook a label on and they're big, which is really good for a closet space. Let me give you a tour now that we are all done. See, we have the dividers and all her underwear in there nicely folded. And then this is what we call her school drawer. So you can see all her socks. This is her pee day drawer, which is my favorite. It's just so colorful. And then this is her pants drawer. And this drawer is just her like skirts and dance wear. And then we just have like her smaller items over there. And this drawer is actually empty, which is pretty funny, but we don't have anything to put in there right now. And then over here, I don't know if you remember, but under the bed, there was all kinds of stuff. And so it is completely empty under here now. 
And so over here we have her toy bin. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of my daughter's room. I hope that you learned a ton and that you're feeling super inspired to take on your own space. This did not happen overnight. It definitely took some time to bring it all together. But just like anything else, it gets worse before it gets better. So although we made big messes, we also made huge strides. So be patient with yourself, be patient with the process, and I promise you it'll all be worth it in the end. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Bye. Basket, any bin, anything that you need to divide and conquer, they will be on your side. Look, it looks like I got like a samurai. Scene. No, okay. <laughs>